What's up, Curio fam? Welcome to the Curio Vlogs. Well, it's about 10.30 a.m. And guess what? Tanya and I are going to the beach. We're going to a place called South Padre Island, Texas. It's a small island off the coast of Texas in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, it's about 65 miles away. And it's about what? About an hour? An hour drive, more or less. Our main reason for going is to play Randonautica and record a video for our main channel, which is The Curio Show. So check that out sometime and consider subscribing. Also, while we're there, we're gonna record a vlog, which is what you're watching now. So we're gonna hop in the car and we'll see you on the road. Guess who else is going before we go though? Yeah. The Rando Pup is going. Say hi, Larry. You're gonna go bye-bye? Yeah, you, tell him you're going bye-bye. Awesome, thanks for picking up your ears. All, All right, right guys, we'll see you baby? in a bit. Yep. All right, let's go. All right guys, we're on the way to the beach. Like I said, we got about an hour drive, so we're gonna be here for a while. I did wanna say that we appreciate all of your support, all your love and support for watching our videos, commenting, everything that you do for us. We appreciate from the bottom of our hearts. So what we wanna do is give back to you. We wanna give everybody a chance to win a little something from us for everything that you do for us. Some of you might be familiar with a gold back note. We gave some of those away on our main channel, The Curio Show, but a gold back note is a bill. It's a form of currency in some states here in the United States. And what this bill has is one one thousandths of an ounce of pure 0.9999 gold. So it's a gold embedded note. So we'll be giving away one of those to one lucky winner along with a little extra surprise that we have. All you have to do for your chance to win this note is to count the number of times that I say the word guys for this entire video from start to finish. You're gonna count that number of times that I say guys then you're going to comment the number of times that I said it plus hashtag gold in the comment section on this video. You also have to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and like this video and you'll have a chance to win and we're going to choose a winner two weeks from So I want to wish you all luck. I hope everybody tries and good luck. Also guys, I have some shout outs. The first shout out goes to Sonia Chancellor. Thanks for watching. Gary Garcia, we appreciate your support. Chamorro Joe, you're awesome. Little Sparrow 0560, thank you for watching. And the last shout out goes to Nikki Sullivan. Thank you so much, Nikki. And thank everybody, everybody watching our videos. Thank you so much. All right, guys, well, we'll see you again sometime before we arrive at the beach. Hey guys, we're halfway there. Uh, if you ever come down to South Padre Island, Texas, you'll be driving down I-69 all the way down to the southernmost part of Texas and then you'll be turning on east on Highway 100. From that point, you're about 27 miles from the beach. But after driving about 10 miles, you're gonna encounter a town called Los Fresnos, Texas. This town here is known for... Slow down, it's 35. It's known for the cops being very strict. It's like a speed trap. Yeah, it's like a speed trap. You don't even want to go one or two miles past the speed limit because you will get a citation or you will get stopped. So, yeah, just keep that in mind if you ever come down here. Because anyone who knows and who comes and visits is going towards the beach 
already knows to slow down and you'll notice the traffic quickly slowing down as the speed limit decreases right yeah. I mean it, it goes from what 65 65 to 45 to 30 before you know it and the people who do know do start slowing down quickly we've known that since we were very young yeah. um i remember when i was a senior in high school a bunch of my skip school we we had senior skip day a bunch of our friends we <laughs> we came in our pickup trucks and we had a keg of beer inside in the back of the truck and we covered it with a blanket we were so scared coming through here hoping we wouldn't get stopped <laughs> but we made it but yeah we're gonna show you what it's like here in los fresnos it was like the same thing for spring break for us whenever we'd come over here for spring break i mean and it was like a couple weeks for us because everybody from up north came down way before our spring breaks so yeah we would want to be coming to the beach but this little town was is such a drag to go through Look, and, and you have to pass through here no matter what yeah, there's is. no way yeah this is the only way to get there so you have to slow down <laughs> right it sucks so we're, we're coming up on it hey they have a walmart now wow they've grown we haven't been here for at least 10 years we yeah. haven't come this way yeah it's been a while for us guys the old truck would have been just a gas guzzler and too difficult to come this way. <laughs> so this little town that we're coming up on, little things you can see, they don't have much. They have a churches now, that's new, and a Dollar General. But like I said, and a Dollar Tree and Little Caesars. All of these things, this was, this little grocery store that's now closed, used to be their only grocery store and probably back then was one of the few stores in town yeah it was they didn't have very much at all in this little town hey guys we're at bob's world it's here in los fresnos we're just gonna get down have larry take a little walk <laughs> South Padre Island. There's the lighthouse. There's the uh, Port Isabel lighthouse. We're on Port Isabel right now, but we have to cross a two and a half mile long bridge. Which is? And it's called the Queen Isabella Causeway. Like I said, it's two and a half miles long. You can see it up ahead. There's an excellent story about this bridge. If you could see a side profile you would notice that part of the bridge has a different color because a large barge crashed into it i don't know how many years ago just recently was its anniversary you can see the buildings over on the island you can see the bay side over here and some nice little homes you might see some people parasailing pretty soon here you can see a, a big picture of the island guys 
it's a uh, very popular with spring breakers and vacationers definitely with the spring breakers look there's someone parasailing right over oh, i can't see through the camera but right over there someone's parasailing having fun and it's in the bay so it's not too deep just right the population is around 3,000 people here yep. on the island. Okay. What about, do you know the population for Port Isabel? Um, about seven or 8,000, I think. Oh, okay. A lot of people from Port Isabel do come over to work at the island, of course, but just cannot afford to live here because the cost of living is quite high and it to live on right. the island. And there are tons of hotels and resorts here. And you can see some of the at a distance back over here's an old an older one. Probably the, one of the oldest most popular and expensive ones is that one that's straight ahead. Like a, it looks like a boot. But we'll pick up the vlog once we get there guys. We're arriving at South Padre guys. There's the sign. And where's Padre Bay? He's somewhere around here. Now we just gotta find some cool things to show you. Like I said, we're here with Larry, so the things we can do is limited. Can't go inside a lot of places, yeah. Because we mainly came to play Randonautica, but we definitely wanted to show you a little more of South Padre Island since we're not going to do that on our Brandonautica video. So here's some hotels. Like I said, this is one of the older, popular, not, it's not a hotel, it's a condominium. Uh, old, nice, expensive. There's shops everywhere. And little cafes and like all of these right here. We're going to be coming up to a cool McDonald's. Some nice palm trees everywhere. It's a nice subtropical climate here. Yeah. And it's 75 today. What yeah. could you ask? For? Right. We usually uh, we're experiencing a cold front right now, which we're in our in the 70s. That's that's cool to us. Nice Normally it's in the 90s or 100s here. You can rent a golf cart oh. right over here. movies in there. Ceviche, ceviche. Oh, that that's the name of, of the restaurant. There's a little miniature golf place right here. Guys, we found some huge lawn chairs, not or beach chairs. <laughs> Let's check them out. <laughs> Awesome! Sitting down, Larry. Look at you. Larry. Hey, Larry, look at Mommy. Guys, Very cool. We're by the convention center here at South Padre Island. A lot of things that go on here. We're close to the beach, maybe about this five is, miles. This one right here is the bay. We'll, we'll be heading to the beach a little later in the vlog so you can check that out and the good thing about here is that you can actually drive on the beach so that's rare in, in yeah. many many beaches they don't let you drive onto the beach you have to park and then walk we used to always drive on there take our when, when you had your jeep we'd take the tent right and set up the tent put out our right. chairs the kids would play it would be so much fun right so yeah, let's find somewhere else. Here's one of the little carts that you can rent to cruise the beach. There's another one coming this way. That's pretty cool. Guys, let me know in the comments if you've ever visited South Padre Island. Look at that turtle. Look at this huge turtle. It looks so realistic, Johnny. The paint job is so It looks awesome. nice. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, let me know if you've ever been here before, guys. 
or, or to or to another beach and if your beach looks similar to our beach yeah tell us right? tell us what your beach is like yeah it's, does it look like this <laughs> so when Johnny and I were little um, we would come to the beach on field trips we would be brought oh, bust over to see a lady called the turtle lady and she was a beautiful older lady who um, I'm not sure what the exact history is. We'll do some research. But whatever she did, she once rescue. she was retired, she decided to rescue sea turtles. Ridley. Ridley turtles. Oh, Ridley turtles? Yeah. Oh, you have a better... I just thought there were sea turtles. Ridley turtles. And whenever there would be hurricanes or storms that would come and they would be washed up on the beach, I know that they even got a space in the convention center when there were so many to have them laid out there and she devoted all of her life after she retired just to taking care of sea turtles and we're going to include some pictures in for you unfortunately she has passed away the tr and we call she was known as the turtle lady um and it, it, they were the best field trips ever they were so yeah, educational were. and it was so cool because it was also hands-on we got to touch the turtles we got to do everything but we're going to include pictures of the turtle lady and her rescue center is still open it's um and it's still based on on volunteers it was always you know that's how she had it it wasn't she wasn't paid she did it volunteer as a volunteer basis everyone who helped helped for free she never paid them for helping out with her her ridley turtles right and it was just a beautiful thing and it's part of south padre island that's a very important uh memory and a very important part of the island for all of us down here are you thinking what i'm thinking i know you see what a burger i do and it's right there so i got a feeling we're gonna make a pit stop hey guys we're gonna yeah make a pit stop like tanya <laughs> said because i'm hungry and i don't know i hope the line isn't too long well it looks kind of dead johnny where are those cars at? Oh, I don't know. Are they parked or they're in line? Oh my God. Where, well, where oh, do you... There's not too many cars over here. But how do you drive into this joint? I gotta go after this car right here. Oh, this beautiful thing is the fire station right here. I think I'm gonna get... Uh -oh. So this just became a beach slash food vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna get a water, a triple meat water burger junior oh the junior junior but triple meat okay with lettuce tomato cheese extra mustard mm. and a jalapeno on the side with some large fries what do you think babe you think you'll enjoy that well <laughs> I, I don't have a choice oh what do you want uh, i'll just share a plain burger with larry okay that sounds good plain and dry for Larry, or well, Larry likes chicken, so I don't know. We'll figure it out, baby. All right, guys. We'll they love their poodle. Oh yeah. We love our rescue, right, little Larry? You playing with your toys? Cause you went bye bye today, didn't you? Do you want to go home and watch TV, or do you want to still play at the beach? I wish you could he talk. Love the beach, guys. Yeah, you're gonna see a clip of uh, Larry at the beach. We recorded our randonautica video before we finished the vlog, the vlog. so we're gonna include the beach clip a, in this yeah, vlog which is what you're gonna see later so um, you see larry right um we couldn't drive in onto the beach because the, the sand was too loose you need a four by four vehicle to actually be able to get through but we were able to park on the main road and walk over the sand dunes to get to the beach but if, if you, you haven't seen the randonautica video the halloween um, episode it was awesome we found some very <gasps> some creepy dark and sinister items yes. so go to the curio show and check it out and consider subscribing if you're not subscribed yes that's it we're gonna order now guys so we'll see you in a little bit yep
Once Johnny's full. No, you're going to see me eat, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> we'll be back in a couple seconds then, guys. There is a water park called Schlitterbahn. Yes. Which we, is this one right here. And we used to love to go there, take our kids there, take my little cousin Sydney when she'd be visiting from Michigan. She'd get to go with right. us there. There's also a place called Gravity Park where you can do bungee jumping, go-karts, rent, you know, ride the go-karts. Um, and they have other activities like the bungee jumping. Um, and that's right here. That's here. I'll show you a picture of that as well. And you can do horse riding, parasailing, fishing, of course. You can go, well, the horseback riding is actually on the beach. Right, you can ride That's on the beach. That's pretty cool. So yeah, let's order. All right, let me also have a uh, Whataburger Junior, but I want a triple meat, three three patties. Poor Johnny, I think I'd never, I never okay. feed him. With cheese, um, bacon, no onion, <laughs> with extra mustard. And then one large order of fries and one jalapeno. All right, guys, we'll see you when I get the food. Hey, guys. Johnny with this big old water burger. I got my triple meat water burger, Junior. Junior. And a jalapeno. And a large order of fries. And only one little ketchup for my baby. I don't know if. They weren't very generous. Do y'all like to watch me eat, but... If you do... <laughs> you're going to watch me eat <laughs> for a little bit. All right, let's see. Look at that. Let's see. It's definitely meaty, definitely cheesy, and definitely... Is there onion in there? No. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Definitely mustard. All right, here we go. Go. Damn, you make it look good. I'm so jealous. What's the matter with my little guy? My little guy is tired. Right, Larry? You got tired? Yes, puppy. You lay down. Good? Mm. It's very meaty, it looks like. That's what I like. Very meaty. I can taste the... Must the extra mustard in there? You want to bite, babe? Not yet. I'll let you keep oh, yeah. going. I might. Okay. I'm trying to think if I want to bite or not. Here we go. I don't Maybe want my this stomach will to hurt. You. Okay, let me see. Damn, I love to watch you eat because it makes me hungry. But I don't know if the pain's worth it. Maybe I'll watch the traffic. It's picking up. Traffic is. Picking all right guys so we're gonna show you apparently there are some you can see the water over there oh that's the bay guys over there and way over there is the bridge that we crossed the causeway so here are some food trucks but we've kind of been informed to Be avoid the food trucks at all costs because the prices are beyond ridiculous but anyways, Johnny's nice and full from his yep. water, water There's a burger. Tequila sunset. Tequila sunset, bar and grill. It looks nice. Nice open area for you to sit and drink. There's a nice view of the water over there. Big monkey over there. That looks so pretty. There's this place, Laguna Bar in the Bay, with some skeletons hanging around. Another one, Driftwood Landing, Boat Bar and Water Sports. Oh, that's cool. You can rent some. Here's the the uh, rent some the sand stuff. castles in here. Oh, we should. You should go check them out. There's some sand castles the sand under castle the tent. Village. Yeah, this is Gravity Park. This is where they have bungee jumping. 
and sweet and, and all kinds of stuff. And back there's like a little road coaster thing and there's some um, bumper cars. No, are they bumpers? Go karts. Go karts, yeah. yeah. We're going to try to find the parking spot, see if we can get some better footage, guys. But if not, then we'll see you in a bit anyway. Hey guys, I'm here at uh, Schlitterbahn Water Park. I don't know if you've heard of that park before, but they have one here in South Padre Island, Texas, and one in New Braunfels, Texas, up maybe about 400 miles north. But this is it right here. You can't really see much, but I just wanted to show you. They also have dolphin watch. You can do a dolphin watch right over here somewhere to my left the next clip is going to be of us headed to the beach which we recorded while we were doing randonautica i wanted to include it in here for you guys all right guys our battery died sorry about that but we did find an alternate route to get to our point which is parking on the side of the street and going through the sand dunes because the cars are getting stuck in the sand and we don't have a 4x4 vehicle so we have no choice but to walk we'll walk across the sand dunes i'll carry larry until we get to a safe enough spot hey there's a there's a look the truck hey lock the doors baby whoa <laughs> i'm sinking <laughs> lock the doors baby <laughs> whoa <Johnny. laughs> Hold on. Guys, you all would be laughing if you were here with yeah, me. I think it's hard to just walk. Oh my gently. god. There's a certain way you gotta walk. What is it? It's not quicksand, but my lord. This way, boy. Up, oh, boy. Careful here. Yeah. Keep your feet tilted up like this. Keep your feet tilted up. There's a trick to walking on the. <laughs> Larry found a nice comfy spot to pee. I hope it's not too hot. Well, no. I'm thinking um, my cool black shoes. Now it looks ugly. I'm going to include part of this in our vlog. Okay. There's a water bottle. Larry, where are you going? You see a chancla. Did you lock the doors, babe? Yeah. Because I left the other battery in the car, so that has the rest of your footage. Larry, let's go this way, baby. Our pinpoint is somewhere where this dune is right in front of us. Okay. So. I don't know if y'all can see the ocean over there. Let's go. Let's go to the wadis. Guys, we're going to just head to the shore really quick before we start uh, looking. I just want to experience that really quick. It's pretty hot. Come on, boy. Come on. It might be too hot for his feet because I feel the sand coming in my shoes. <laughs> wow <laughs> getting up that sand dune was hilarious absolutely hilarious it looks like there's been another little doggy through here look at these tracks yeah. or something because yeah, like. those aren't larry's little tracks There's trash. There's not much out here. There's that big yellow thing sells elotes. For those of you who don't know what elotes are, that's corn in a cup with mayo, chili, cheese, and butter, and what am I missing? Lime? It doesn't sound good. We'll have to make a vlog on that. It's really delicious though. Hey, the beach is now easy to walk on. It was just the sand dune. <laughs> we need to do this more often because I'm actually out of breath. Look, there was a, an animal came through here and it wasn't Larry. Here's another set of... Maybe that's our sinister. Something dark and sinister. It might be a scary animal. Come on, Larry. You want me to pick you up? Here, I'll pick him up and you record, or vice versa? I got him. Yay, Larry, you scared. We're at the beach. I don't know if you've ever been to the beach before, baby. I don't see anything dark and, dark and sinister. There's a 
truck who is able to drive in because they're probably four by four. They have their tent out and what's that little green thing? Potty. The truck have no problem coming out here. The cars apparently are the only ones who do. There's a lot of shells, guys. Look at all this. Nothing dark and sinister about those, though. Something dark and sinister. These were my favorite. Were my favorite shoes. I hope they're salvageable. Big shell, guys. There's a lot of shells out here. Hey, now we're on some nice... Larry can walk on here, Johnny. It's nice and flat and... We should have brought our towel with us. So walking here feels really nice. Wait, baby. This is my automatic... Uh... Let me help my little... My... Ten little piggies, my little feet, get some comfiness from this cool sand. Yay, Larry, let's go to the Wadi's, boy, this way. Come here, come with mommy. Larry, this way. Come on, boy. Come here, Larry. Come on. Come on. Let's go see how cold it is. Come on. Let's see, guys. Ooh. Oh, it's chilly willy. It's not too bad. It's nice. Come on, Larry. Let Larry experience the water, babe. Here, I'll carry him to the water. I'll take the camera. He's going to experience it whether he wants to or not. Back. Not yet. I want him to experience the water. Here, can you hold me? Larry. Hey guys, uh, so as you know, we're at South Padre Island. Me and Tanya used to come out here since we were very young. Uh, this was our vacationing spot that our parents would bring us to. It's a very nice beach. And like I said, it's one of the very few beaches that you can drive onto. But right now the sand is pretty loose. So only four by four vehicles can make it through but you know it's awesome check it out there's not very many people today yeah Larry's getting some getting his paws wet hey boy Yeah, I don't think he's ever been to the beach before, although we're not sure. You know, he, he had another owner before we found him. So he might have been over here before. We're not sure. Well, guys, it's the end of our beach trip. We're going to head home already. I know I didn't have too much exciting footage for you, but I tried to make it as uh, entertaining and informative as possible hope you enjoy it also don't forget to enter the contest count how many times I say the word guys throughout this entire video and comment the number of times that I said it and hashtag gold and don't forget you have to be subscribed to the channel and like this video so you can have a chance to win the gold back note and we will draw a winner in two weeks so if you enjoyed the video drop a like subscribe if you're new turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads and you can follow us on the curio show yt on twitter and with all that said i want to thank you for watching y'all take it easy and stay curious